Hey guys, it's Tim here. I want to show you how to create a Brunei Apple account without a credit card. So as you can see here, um, I've gone through the regular sign in, create new account process, and you'll come to a page where it asks you to select a payment method and it asks you to put in a, a credit card. So in order to bypass this, all you need to do is search for a free application such as Angry Birds, or in this case I'm using Opera, the web browser. All you need to do is search for free application, click the free button, and create an account from here. So just follow the registration, continue, make sure this is the Brunei Darussalam store, if not select it from the selection, and just continue, agree to the terms, agree, and fill in your details. So I fill in my details, and as you can see here, there's a payment method of none, which means you can continue processing this without a credit card. So that's a great thing for those people who just want free applications or don't have a credit card. The only problem with this is I've contacted AV, the premium reseller of Apple products here in Brunei. They mentioned that they do not sell any gift cards or Brunei gift cards at this moment in time. So I don't think there will be able a way there'll be a way for you to add credit and if you want to purchase applications you need to link to a credit card or get somebody who already has it and ask them to gift, gift the application to you. So I've logged in as a Brunei iTunes account and a few things I noticed is not all applications are available in the store. So I've searched for WhatsApp, you see there's nothing in the research results. And if I were to click this view in iTunes link from the web browser, which um, shows the WhatsApp messenger, it will display a message saying that this item that you've requested is not currently available in the Brunei store. So meaning that not all applications will be available. I've contacted WhatsApp. They mentioned that there's no reason why it shouldn't be available but at the end of the day, as you can see, I can't download it and can't even buy it. So it's not even an option for me. So it's just something to take note. Other applications such as Skype, Nimbus, eBuddy, mostly they all seem that all the applications that I use seem to be available. Another thing about the Brunei Store, as you can see here, there's only App Store, Podcast, and iTunes U. There's no music, there's no TV shows. There's no movies, so those are not available here in Brunei either. So with that, I would recommend typically that you create a US account and just use gift cards because you get a full access of the iTunes store. But at the end of the day, if you just want convenience using the Brunei account just for apps and you're you're, so you're happy that not all applications may be available. This is a viable option to create an account without a credit card. Games like Angry Birds, Tiny Tower, Plants vs. Zombies, they're all here. So with that, that, this is Tim signing off. Thanks for watching guys.